Hey y'all, it's me Imani, and today I'm going to be telling y'all all about my favorite hair companies. First off, this video is not sponsored at all. Nobody paid me to say what I'm about to say. Second of all, I'm gonna have all the links for all the hairs, any videos that they are featured in down below, and I'm gonna also have them popping up whichever way the cards come up. And y'all can click on it and go see it directly if you want to. And not only am I gonna tell y'all the good companies, I'm gonna tell y'all the pros, the cons, and anything else you might need to know about the hair because this show money and you need to spend it wisely. Let's get right into it since they're in no particular order i'll just first say izy wigs izywigs.com um this wig is from izy wigs i'll insert some pictures and some videos of me looking cute in the hair so the pros for this hair is that it's really good texture it bleaches well it colors well it holds a curl it has a natural texture so if i just wet it it would have like pretty curls in itself the lace is not transparent it's light brown but it has a really good match to my skin especially if i use a little bit of lace tint like mm period and that's how you can save some money right there cons as far as this wig um i can't really think of any i actually really like this hair yeah so and i also have another wig from izy wigs a braided wig and i'll have the video up there for it and here's some pictures you know of me looking cute in the hair that wig was only about 100 bucks super affordable super cute and just super worth it so yes next up is wild african wild african is pretty popular and you might not know if it's all hype or what i've never been seeing anything from wild african everything i've gotten from them i ordered myself i'll show y'all a few different wigs first I had like an asymmetrical bob it was really cute then I ordered another wig for my graduation wig and it was pretty long a con for that is that the lace wasn't transparent however I didn't order transparent lace I got medium brown so if you're my complexion or lighter don't get the medium brown lace unless you want to put a whole bunch of concealer on it and make it look cakey because the lace was not blending with my skin for real at all like you can get away with it but it's just not gonna give you that arrogant tay look that you might be thinking that you about to get no shedding with wild African that I can remember next up is clay Yi from clay Yi. I've only gotten 613 wigs this is a 613 wig and this is a natural color or 1b wig the natural color and 1b nine times out of ten are real human hair so like you could do way more with it you can get it wet re-straighten and be fine bleach it color it use color oops which is color remover bleach it again maybe you know you could do a lot with it but when you're dealing with a 613 wig it's more like who loud ass car is that outside 613 wigs to me are made with some type of synthetic blend or synthetic fibers because they're just not the same as real hair I tried to use a color oops color remover on it and the hair just like got so matted and nasty and when I did it on human hair before it was a love me wig that I actually did it on and it didn't do that so but I think it's just 613 hair period like anytime I see somebody with one on you know if you see it from the wrong angle or if it's not really brushed right it could kind of give cartoon wig so who fucking spaceship so keep that in mind. But for Clay Yee, those 613 wigs are so cute. Let me show y'all a few hairstyles I did with them. Each color that I did with the Clay Yee 613, I bodied them. Like, they were so cute. They were vibrant. They were popping. Only thing, the con for those wigs is that they shed. They do. But then I got this wig. It's their 613 with the, the brown roots. And that wig does not shed for real. It does not really shed, like, at all. I think that the other wig shed because I did the watercolor method with hot, hot, hot water. And I colored it twice. And I think for some reason that kind of makes the hair shed y'all probably tired of me talking about this i'm sorry i just want to give y'all the real spill next we have dun, 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 love me hair and you might hear about love me you might go on a website and be like dang they a little expensive but love me is really really worth it the hair quality is awesome the hair bleaches well it takes well to color it can hold a curl the shedding is minimal it's only like one brand that i'm like damn y'all be shedding love me is not that the only thing is though love me has a transparent lace so like a lot of times i feel like those laces are a lot looser like when i try to lay it down like it might ripple up you have to do a lot of surgery with that lace i had to like literally i had to take the lace make a snip here make a snip there make like a little bit of a triangle and like kind of pull it together to make the lace not ripple up or be so loose and big and like as transparent and as good and seamless as that lace looks here are some pictures so you can see it just the hassle of the lace sometimes maybe it was just me i don't know maybe it was just my head take your chance though but they have good quality hair and they have cute nice transparent lace that lace will blend in like nobody's business baby like trust me and a few times people be like damn your hair look good and i'm like girl they love me next up is eunice eunice and clay Yee, i'm sure that they're the same company i'm like almost 100 percent sure that they are the same company but if they're not i got hair from eunice before and it was good so don't don't take my word for it but take my word for it because just like wild african and rpg show or whatever i think they're the same too 
It's some funny business going on here, y'all. So these last two are just honorable mentions. This one company that I've worked with before called Cheetah Beauty. They operate off of Alibaba. I don't personally like getting hair off Alibaba or AliExpress because first of all, it's risky. Second of all, I feel like the process is a lot longer than just placing a damn order and getting it. Like, it's just extra. But they have really good hair. I'll have the video for Cheetah Beauty up there or up there. Click the link. See it. Enjoy it. Another honorable mention is We Queen Hair. They have really good braided wigs. Check them out, y'all. I really enjoy their hair. So those were all of the hair companies that I would personally recommend somebody. I'm going to have all of the info in the description. You can click there, see them, check them out, get what you like. Let me know if you get something. Let me know if this helped you out. And just some free game real quick. I know wigs might be expensive. You might be like, damn, I'm not going to spend two, three, four hundred on a wig. Keep in mind, braids nowadays are going for 100 and up. That's a one month at most hairstyle. Wigs, you can rewear and rewear it, okay? Even if you like, but my frontal is balding. You know you can cut that off and put it at the front one. I don't do that, but people do that. So it's possible. So wigs are definitely an investment. They're so versatile. You can really do whatever you want with them. So don't be stingy on yourself when you buy your wigs. Invest in yourself if you like for your hair to look nice. Because trust me, the quality and the difference in it is going to definitely pay off. But if you get hair from any of these companies, it's going to be good, sis. Let me know if you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up. Comment down below and subscribe for more videos. And thank y'all so much for watching. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye.